Alright guys, welcome back to another Starship Troopers episode. New update, Carnage. What they added is your weapons have armor pen penetration values. And crit values. Basically, creatures in the game, like warrior classes, the plasma bugs, the fire bugs, they all have different armor values. And the armor penetration rating for your weapon actually matters. So, level 5, the highest is level 6, I think. Unless I'm mistaken. Level 5 is, I believe, the highest. But then, the Queen's Guard is level 6, I believe. So this is extremely good to take out the Plasma Bugs and the Fire Bugs. The level 4 is still good. There's also a crit value. So, when hitting at the weak point of uh, the Nerve Stem, I believe, it, it is uh, what it's called. You do extra damage. And there's also different ammo. So, n not this weapon. This weapon actually won't show up. So there's like how this is armor penetration 3 and then the crit value is 1.5. The FMG rounds increase the armor pier piercing uh, to 4 but reduces the crit by 0 0.25. So I like that. But this one says your armor piercing becomes lower to 2 but your weak point damage becomes a lot higher. So you get to choose. They change some of the class. <laughs> Uh, this class, the grenade class, you're able to have two barrages, so two Qs, if you're doing keyboard. I think you can only do keyboard. But you get two um, two charges, they're on a minute cooldown. They ner nerfed and like buffed a bunch of weapons. What, what else have they done? The medic, now the drone, if the drone has charges, it will immediately, if you die, your drone will automatically revive you. Which is awesome. Also, uh, Medic's Pistol is actually an armor piercing rating of 5. Which is quite awesome. So I will get to a game while keep on talking. They had a new planet, X11. Awesome. It's normal difficulty, which sucks. But I mean, we can play something to show you guys. They uh, added new missions because of the new planet. What I mean by new missions is like there's... In Hive, in hive game mode, you'd be taking a different planet... To only the two other planets, I'm guessing. But now, X11 is going to be another planet you can go on Hive game mode. Um, What else have they done? I actually do not know. One thing I can say about my character is I'm almost level 15. So I get that portable center turret and then the shield. The energy shield, basically. Which would be awesome. Oh, the most important thing about this update, at least in my opinion, is bug bodies stay on the ground. They do not go away at all. They become part of the terrain, unless you grenade them, like explosive weapons, or melee them. So if you're a Bastion character, like I am, one of those characters that decides to just sit down, bunker up in siege mode, and then the bugs come to them, and then you kill the bugs while they're on top of you. They will now uh, turn into like terrain, basically, when they die, after a few seconds. Meaning, you could get trapped in a pile of bugs, like completely, which is insane. And also, at the end of the uh, this game mode, Advanced is Secure, when you kill like hundreds of bugs around the base, now all those bodies are staying, unless someone is going out there blowing them up with grenades and melee them, which I wouldn't expect anybody to do that. That's pretty much all for the... Well, there's actually a lot more for the patch notes for the update itself. But at the moment, I can't really think of anything. They also changed the XP you get for missions. Like, you get lower XP now. Some gadgets, like healing people, gave you a bunch of XP. Now it gives you half XP. But now stimming people, like the speed stim, now gives you XP in general. So there's a lot of buffs and nerfs to XP as well. As well as weapons. <laughs> oh, goodness. We interrupt our regularly scheduled judicial program to bring you live footage on the assault on X-11, where the Deep Space Vanguard are pushing deep underground to suppress the arachnid threat. We be gaming. Go in the middle. Tank class. Yes, please. So this map is kind of... Uh, like indoor which is first priority is to secure a base of operations you will 
exterminate any enemy threat from the area. Pyre. Woo! I was lagging for a second. Don't worry, it's not the game, I don't believe. It's completely me. Uh, I'm lagging. Cool. Now I'm all bunkered up. I'm ready. I still like the saw because how much ammo it has. Die. There we go. Literally cannot see what is even happening. I will crouch and reload my weapon. You see, look, now they become part of the terrain. Now I can just climb on top of them. Now you see how all the bodies are just there. So it's really cool. If I could... What in the world? Yoink. I'll take three. <laughs> Be advised, sensors indicate arachnid threat levels have risen. Fleet signal booster has been set. So our teammate was stuck in the ground, and I just shot him to help him out. God, why am I just stuttering this mission? I just sent him through the shadow realm. Oh my god. But it's okay. It's okay that we're stuttering. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Wherever I jump, the game goes back to normal. Wherever I stand still, the game goes back to normal. So We can live with it. My God! If I die, I'm gonna be disappointed. I'm not trying to shoot my teammates. Whoa! Yeah, 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 yeah. Get away from me! You're shooting friendlies! Now we go to the next zone. Come on, let me put down my gadget. There we go. Dude, I literally just came to buy a gunner. Orbital signal booster has been secured. Additional field supplies are now available. Nice. So also with this cave with this uh cave being like underground and stuff like that. Ouch, 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 ouch. You actually have to build this compared to having a the ship come by and drop it off. Which kind of sucks a little bit. There we go. My game looks like it's going back to normal. And right when I said that, now it doesn't look like it's going back to normal. Be advised, directed threat levels have risen. Okay, there we go. Salvage these field power generators in this sector. Even more cave. Cave, cave, cave. Goodbye. That moment, you don't even have to watch out for bugs. You just got to watch out for your teammates. Yeah, we're going to soon go out there, which is pretty nice. Yeah. I'm going to rather just get on top of this rock, please, and thank you.
Chyba. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Pretty cool electric gadget, so you can actually stun the bugs. Whoa. Goodbye. No. Get rid of them. My bad. Yeah, even the tiger bugs' bodies just stay on the ground. Alright, we be going. You know what, can I even pick up my gadget? No. Let me live. How? Why is this even spawned in? That's the real question. Awesome. Now we'd be gaming. I was thinking about uh, dishing this recording because I'm stuttering a little bit while running around. But you know what? I don't think I care. My crappy Wi-Fi. The reason I've been even stopped on videos in general is just because uh, internet outages. So you know what? I'll take him. They're going to revive him. So that's this is good. Reload my ammo. Reload my ammo? What am I saying? Reload my gun. Oh, hey. Oh, my. Where is bro going? What was dead now? Got the fence up. So I saw this one dude accidentally in one of my lobbies. He like managed to get a wall plus this. Which you can't do, but he did it somehow. And I was thinking to myself like, that's, a, that's actually pretty cool. Imagine being able to put your wall on your top of your electricity fence. So it gets even more durability. But... It means uh, you consume both of those. Seems a pretty cool idea. Even though it was a glitch. I'm having a hard time even trying to repair. Teammates got that. Voila. Grab some ammo. There we go. There we go. And for me, I will build one of these towers. Troopers, you got thirty seconds until the arc slam. All right, where am I going to put electricity field? I think I'm good. Heads up. Ten seconds to arc. Oh, yeah, I'm ready. Maybe I could just move myself in the middle. But I won't be able to shoot down here, though. We can try. That was sub lag for a moment. Oh my god. Get him out of here. Oh god. That was a little worrying for a little bit. Nope. Goodbye. Oh god. Who the hell made all those sounds? I'm like literally not even able to kill bug. 
teammates killed before I can even get a chance. There's the indicator, like, in the sky. And I'm just like, what? Goodbye. Immediately priority, just get rid of these gunner bugs. I just realized. Where did all my attachments for the my gun go? I don't have any of my attachments. I don't have my compensator. I don't really have my uh, reticle. No way I unequipped it accidentally. Very disappointed. Yes, free XP. Um, 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 um. Goodbye. And I'm out of ammo. I'm gonna reload, take one of these. Uh, huh. Yeah, you gotta shoot at that little tail to do damage, I believe. Goodbye. Does this have ammo? Nope. Always resupply your teammates in the centuries, honestly. 10 XP, that is amazing. Gotta check if he needs ammo. There you go. There you go. Might as well just top everybody off. There you go. Everybody got ammo. Dude, look at this. Look at this amazingness right here. All these bodies are just like continuing to stay and just wither on the battlefield right now. The bodies do have decomposition effects. Not that much. Of course, they want to keep it where the bo bug bodies on the bottom. But oh, look right there. Some of these are yellow, right? That just recently died. And then they start like... Uh, Removing the yellow and start graying out and turning white. Oh, get rid of them. Whoa. And I think why these bugs keep on getting knocked back is honestly because of me. Oh, ouch, ouch, ouch. I was wondering why the game wasn't working. I was like, oh god, did I like out? Dude, we are just sending them back. Oh my god. Gotta keep them covered. Yes, get rid of them. Absolutely, just get rid of them. Dude, alright, so now look. Look at this carnage that we just unleashed on everybody. Look at that. We got all these bodies. We got all this. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Bro just dropped a bunch of citrus turrets and now he's just like, all right, we're going. That's amazing. That's a lot of bodies. All right, I got to go now. I just took a huge amount. We'd be going. 500 meters away? We do get a bunch of time, though. I got my teammates here. But yeah, it's cool how these bodies are all uh, just. Whoa! All right, three things. Like, look at this. I'm about to ramp off of them. Absolutely amazing. Very cool. For a moment, I thought someone just walked through my front door. I was just like, what? Oh, my God. 
Let me move! Oh my god. Yes, wipe him out. Okay, that's a little too much. Oh my god. Dude, that is menacing as hell. What do you guys think you're doing? Oh yeah. Be going, be going, be going. Kill myself. Kill myself. I'm gonna revive him. Okay, we're good, we're good. Ah! Yes. Yes. Okay, I'm gone. <laughs> I was the only one outside. Everybody else is just like, get out of here. Just get out of here. Dude, that was menacing a while ago. Oh my god. Did you guys, like, see that? Just... Oh my god, look at the bodies. Because they don't go away now. And they actually... They can just ramp off each other. Dude. Oh my god. Yeah, that map, by far, might be my favorite. All the other ones are cool, but... Because I've been here since almost this game has launched in early access. Velaka. Woo! I'm a little bored of Velaka. This is a nice, fresh air. Almost there. Almost there, level 15. Uh, need a little bit more. Oh, first team, first. Oh, on me, baby. And Fox Draw, army. Uh, 102 kills, 119 kills. Hey, I was supporting our teammates. Mm, I could have had more kills. I just chose not to. I am perfect. You know how it is. You know how it is. But that is definitely the update. There's all the other ones, like arc missions dude the horde game mode's got to be crazy guys like think about it just bodies go on top of each other horde mode you get slammed with a huge amount of bugs it's gonna be chaos we even played a horde mode where like we weren't able to fill up a whole place with walls because we weren't fast enough oh that's gonna be insane one thing i don't understand is big pistol big stun very big stun uh, high damage, low armor piercing, high crit, low armor piercing. What? Oh, this, at least this right here has armor piercing. Eh, I guess it's understandable. Also, your pistols, of course, have FMJ rounds or a hollow point. You, be oh, ugh. you might as well just make your peacekeeper. I mean, armor per piercing rating four is pretty cool. Might as well just make your peacekeeper a hollow point, maybe. So you just like, like just burst someone, just bow, 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 bow. take them out. Yeah, shock device, only one I have, only gadget I have. Add stun duration. Stack size three, deployable shield, very cool. But honestly, for the I already talked about deployable shield in the past. Can't wait to have this baby. Also, for other uh, guns you want to see, I'll show you guys right now. Mordica, AP, AP2, Carbine, AP2, AP2, AP1, the Tactical SMG. What's really good is definitely, like, you got AP3. Oh, also, I gotta say, there's no more bars for weapons. Now it's actually stats. Armor Piercing 5 for the Medic weapon, because the Medic only has this weapon and the normal one. This has armor piercing five as well, so it's really cool. Cool, really cool. Shotgun's only level one, the fully auto one. Level five for the flamethrower, understandable, because I would think it would be a six, because it's a flamethrower. But that will be the end of the episode. You guys have a good day. This is very fun, but peace out, y'all. Bye bye.